Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. I'm taking this week off, but I'm still taking out the time in order to be with all of you because I just love to be able to interact with all of you. Uh, If you have any comments or anything, you can interact with me by just leaving the comments on this video. But today I want to continue with what I started yesterday when I was talking about, you know, the idea that we need to be training for godliness, not just trying. And training for godliness is means that you are working hard to prepare. So Jordan, say hi. Hi. Jordan wanted to be with me today while we have this devotional. So you get to see his cute face while we're talking. Yesterday, I read from 1 Timothy where Paul says that you need to train for godliness. And I talked about the difference between training and trying. Trying means you just get up and try, and you do it. And you're probably not going to be very successful, at least if there's any competition for you. But if you're training, that means you're putting the time in ahead of time. I heard people who are playing for the NFL, they say that uh, the games are the fun part for them. That the difference between the really good players and the mediocre players are the really good players put in the time during the week. I think that's true for believers as well. If we want to have effective and and godly lives, then we're going to need to be conscientious and purposeful about it. We we can't just expect that it's going to happen. 1 Corinthians 9.24 says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. So here again, Paul is writing to the church in Corinth and telling them that everybody runs the race, but only one wins. And the difference is, maybe there's some natural talent there, but usually the person that works the hardest is going to have the best success. Um, and, and he talks about the games. Paul, Paul was um, an urban. Paul grew up in the city. He grew up in the... Okay, put your hand down. Paul grew up in the Roman city of Tarsus. So they would have had games there. And Paul saw those. And, and from their heritage from the Greeks, when they had the games, a lot of times the reward was a laurel wreath. Just a crown made out of leaves. And it just fell apart. And that was part of their pride in saying, you know, I'm doing this just for the glory of the games, not just not to get some money or some other prize. But Paul said, you know, these people put in all this time for that. We're doing this life for a crown that will last forever. And so it's really good for us to put in the effort to say, what could I do to be closer to God? What could I do to better fit my purpose in this world? And and Paul says, I'm not going to run aimlessly. I'm not going to beat the air, you know, like a boxer beating the air. He says, no, I'm disciplining my body. I'm doing everything I need. Uh, You know, I try to be healthy. I rode my bike three and a half miles to a park on uh, the Legacy Trail and three and a half miles back. You could say, well, you know, people do that in the Olympic Games all the time, but they're not pulling a little kid in a bike trailer. Right, Jordan? Right. Um, but yeah, after, after I got there, I had to play in the park for a while before my legs were finally ready to pedal all the way back. And so I try to be healthy, but far more than our physical health, we've got to be thinking about our soul. You know, also, what do we put into our minds? People are worried nowadays about what they put in their bodies, and they should be. 
but we should be even more concerned about what do I put in my soul? What do I put in my mind? So let's strike a blow to our bodies. Let's do the right thing. Let's not just try think that this holy life is going to happen, but let's be conscientious and purposeful and make a plan for how are we going to go deeper in our relationship with Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this time. Thank you uh, for everybody who's watching and listening. Uh, thank you for little Jordan here, and I pray your blessing on our efforts. Only by your Spirit, Father, will we be what you want us to be. So, Father, we ask for that in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. I love you all. Have a good day. Want to say goodbye? <laughs>